Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful morning here at Delnor Wiggins. you to have a look at this water. The last time I was out here, Thursday, this water was almost black. Look at it now. Crystal clear. This is area one at Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. Look at the water. Absolutely gorgeous right now. However, we still, still have red tide warnings in effect. But look at the water. It is definitely, definitely clearing up. Hey, Greg, good morning. That's looking south down the beach. Absolutely beautiful out here this morning. I think our friend Roy has something to do with this water clearing up. What do you think? Look at that. What a huge difference from four days ago. I'm down at this very south end of the park right now. And the rangers, they did not, they weren't focusing on cleaning the beach south of the first entrance. Very few people come down here, so they are focusing their cleanup efforts on the north part of the beach. So there's a couple dead fish still out here on the beach. They're pretty much rotting away here. <laughs> They're almost gone, actually, between the tides and rotting away. Not the nicest smelling area down here in area one. <laughs> I didn't get much sleep last night. I was up thinking about our friend Roy. God bless him. Please keep him in your thoughts and prayers. He's a trooper though, that's for sure. He has a very positive attitude about what's going on. He is getting Lots and lots of antibiotics as we speak. They're hoping to be able to treat his infection with just antibiotics, hopefully. And if that doesn't work, the next step would be to go in and actually cut out the infected flesh in his leg. But we're hoping the antibiotics take care of it. Yesterday morning when I went to see him, he was worried about possibly losing his leg. But after him and I sat down and read all the information that the doctors gave him, he felt a little more at ease. And by the end of last night, it seemed like the prognosis was getting a little better. Let's just keep Roy in our prayers. I'm gonna miss him out here on the beach for a little while. He's getting lots of visitors. Wonder if we had any more, see any new sea turtle nest on the beach. I see our rangers up the beach doing something here. Up towards area three. But again, look at this water. 
It has just done a complete 180, a complete turnaround. Look how clear it is now. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful blue sky. Maybe things are starting to get back to normal here. Wouldn't that be awesome? Wouldn't that be awesome if things, if this red tide started moving away? You can see that seaweed that was up on the beach. It's already drying up. It's gonna be gone soon. It'll just dry up and disappear. Remember all the fish that were on the beach? Our park rangers picked them all up. Isn't that wonderful? That was a horrible job. Horrible, stinky job. And right now, I don't see any new, any signs of any more fish washing up on the beach here. It looks really clean right now out here. Is just my observation. Again, we are still under the red tide warning. But a tremendous difference since last Thursday when I was out here. We're at high tide now. So unfortunately, I won't be able to walk out onto the sandbars here. But this red tide has been keeping a lot of people away from the beach. So maybe we'll find some shells here. You never know. I'm really hoping to see a new turtle nest or two. That would be wonderful. That would be so neat. Last count when I was here, there were 59 confirmed crawls on the beach. Confirmed nests. That was a that broke the record for Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. 59 loggerhead sea turtle nests on the beach. It would be so neat to get 60. <laughs> Now that we broke the record, let's get some more. As we know, we've lost several of them here because of the bad weather, the high tides, the heavy rains. It has been pouring here in the afternoons, pouring. And some pretty incredible lightning the past couple days. It looks like we're gonna get it again this afternoon. not much of a breeze out here right now it's very 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 calm we do need that wind a nice offshore breeze the wind blowing from the east out into the gulf to keep taking this red tide further away from us if you're just joining we still are dealing with the red tide but the water has cleared up it's gorgeous here. I'm in area two now. Once that sun comes up, we'll really get a good look at the water. I've missed coming out here. It's been a little while. 
three, four days. I was out here Thursday. But I've been using my time that I'd be taking a beach walk to hang out and chat with Roy and visit with Roy. He has been getting a lot of visitors. They've actually asked that people slow down a little bit so he can get some rest. He's not sleeping. He's not eating. You know, if you know Roy, he's got his own regiment, his own diet. He's not eating the hospital food. He's not putting up with it. So thankfully, Jennifer Ann's been bringing him some food and Patty Knight and Astrid. Tom and Karen, so many wonderful people have been stopping by to visit Roy. The CEO of Naples Community Hospital actually came by Roy's room the other day to meet him and meet me. That was pretty amazing. <laughs> I think they know they have a good man in there and they better take good care of him. People are watching. Our park rangers were up here. Doing something on the beach. I don't know what they were doing. I don't know if we have another nest up here. I don't have a photographic memory, unfortunately, so I can't remember what nests were here and what ones weren't. Or if maybe they were checking on a nest that might have hatched. These are all existing nests here. I don't see any signs of any tracks on the beach, any crawl tracks. These are all nests that were here. I'm gonna go back and I don't know what they were doing. They were right around here doing something. They got away from me before I got up here, those park rangers. This nest, it's way too early for this one to be hatching here. That's nest number 53. Oh, beautiful osprey just flew overhead. But a couple of these nests, these older nests down here, they are close to hatching time, if not hatched. Hopefully they didn't drown because they did go underwater for a little period of time. Oh, that's what they were checking out here. Looks like a something. Something got in there. Looks like a dang raccoon got in there. But it could have hatched, and then the raccoon smelled the old eggs in there. Because that's what they, they emerge out of, just a little tiny hole. It's amazing. But with all this rain, it's hard to tell. It looks like there's some little tracks there from the little baby turtles hatching. Yeah, it looks like this nest, number 18, could have hatched. Hallelujah. Now, I was talking to one of the rangers yesterday. You know, they actually take courses. They learn about these sea turtles. They learn how to protect them and whatnot. And he was saying that the little babies are more Im immune to getting to dying or whatever from red tide. They're 
there's less chance of them be, being affected by the red tide because they get out of here so fast. So that was good news. Everybody's worried about these little guys hatching. Yep, this one too. The, uh, the first nest we were looking at was 18. This is 17. They both hatched. Both of them hatched since Thursday, since we were here. That is wonderful news because these two nests were underwater that we just looked at and they both hatched. That is great news. Wow, that is so cool. And I'm, I'm guessing what the rangers were doing is they were up here. When we have a hatching, they'll come up and look up here. Oh, this is sad. Here's three dead, three dead horseshoe crabs from the red tide that somebody put them up here. They didn't wash up here. But a reminder of that pesky red tide still here. But what the rangers were doing is they'll check all in these sea oats, the seagrass, they'll look really, really close to see if there's any lost hatchlings that went the wrong way. And every once in a while, you'll find one walking around here, lost. Yeah, so we try to save them before the raccoons or whatever get them. So that's what they were doing. They were looking for little lost hatchlings, possible lost hatchlings up here. I was wondering what they were doing. I was hoping we had had another crawl and had a new nest. But I mean, we found little lost hatchlings up in the picnic areas. They just get disoriented and go the wrong way. And hopefully we find them in time if that happens pretty hard you can see you really can't walk back in there you're not supposed to be walking in this grass well two two nest hatch that's good two confirmations there's 17 and 18 they both 17 and 18 you get both of those nests that sea turtles came at the same time, the same night. The nests were created, they laid their eggs the same night, and they might even hatched on the same day together. That's pretty cool. Nest 18 right there. This is area two that I'm in right now. I'm sure a lot of you recognize that boardwalk there. This is the north end of area two. What a difference in four days. The fish are cleaned up. beach is starting to return to its good old beautiful self again. The water's done a complete, complete 180 turnaround. It's absolutely gorgeous. Crystal clear right now. However, there still is a red tide warning in effect. I don't know how severe it is here now. I don't know if it's low or moderate, but it was high. But obviously it's definitely, conditions are improving here. You don't hear me coughing, at least in this area of the beach. It comes in pockets at red tide, so we'll see what it's like up to the north here. Sandpiper has just been walking up the beach. 
but in the entire morning. I turned around, he followed me back when I was looking at those turtle nests, <laughs> and he's just walking along, staying ahead of me. <laughs> it's so funny. I was saying earlier about Roy, he's in good spirits, very good spirits, but that's Roy. He was pretty gloomy yesterday morning when the doctors were explaining to him what's wrong. But him and I spent some time talking about it and all the possible options and possible things that might happen. And he's all good with everything and things seem to be looking brighter things seem to be looking better for him so keep those prayers coming it's not quite the same coming out here knowing i'm not going to see roy for a while Here's a little bit of sunshine on the beach. Out in the water here. Look at, see how clear that water is this morning? What a huge difference. Absolutely beautiful. I know Roy's got something to do with this. Many of us locals here have kind of a distaste for Naples Community Hospital. That's where Roy is at. They are taking very, very good care of him. He has got the sweetest nurse. I mean, she is. He's bending over backwards for him. So. Now there's a, our hard working crew over here. on another one of our nests. No? <laughs> It's still a little early for that one, I think, isn't it? 33? Nest 30? Yeah, that's too early. Yeah. <laughs> See you guys later. Thought we might have had another emergency here, but it's just a little too early for this nest. Looks like a raccoon was digging around at it. Still a little early, I think, for this one. Nest 33. But they're gonna go check all the nests. Our park rangers do a great job here, keeping tabs on these little hatchlings. They're checking a couple more down there. Like I was telling you earlier, remember when I said we had, we were walking around those two nests when we have a hatching. They look all up in the 
up in the dune areas, make sure none of those little hatchlings got lost, got disoriented. So they're checking that nest out there. It's hard to tell sometimes whether if it's a crab got in the nest or if it was an actual emerging. The holes are about the same size. Oh my gosh, I see another beach walker way down to the south. I was almost the only person here for a week. They did a good job cleaning up the fish here. This is, this is the area three. It's the big area between three and four. It's the big space between area three and four. If you are familiar with this beach, you know what I'm talking about. There's a large picnic area between parking lots, parking lots three and four. Very big, that's where the, a lot of picnic tables are concentrated. They're scattered all throughout the park. All back here, there's a nature trail that parallels the beach. There's picnic tables and barbecue grills scattered all along it. We got some shells down here by George. Seashells and they're not covered with dead fish. What do you think of that? What a nice change. Jewel box shell down here half of a jewel box shell. A little scallop shell down here. Maybe we'll get lucky and find some neat shells this morning. Hopefully this water's nice all the way up to Wiggins Pass. I do see there's a couple of fish here on the beach. I don't see a lot of them float. I don't see any right now floating out here in the water. Again, look at the water. It's done a complete turnaround. You can see the bottom. It looked like iced tea last week. Well, last Thursday when we were here, it was horrible. Thursday. That's when Roy had his mishap. Was, he is very lucky that somebody actually found him up here at the beach because that because of that red tide. There's nobody here, and a poor guest found him collapsed up behind where he normally sits. Thank God they came along. I've had quite a few people sending me messages on Facebook asking about Roy, and I'm just, I'm sorry if I don't answer your message. I am just overwhelmed with people on Facebook asking how Roy is. So I, when I find something out, I do post it, so just go back and check my posts, please. Check my posts, check Jennifer Ann, check my personal page, check Jennifer Ann's page, check Patty Knight's page, Emily Powers, lots of good people posting about Roy and posting updates. Nothing yet, no shells, of, like I haven't seen any of our neat little moon shells yet down here or whelk shells seen a lot of our slipper shells down here a lot of slippers little cockle shells little cockles small cockles 
Lots of them, too. Lots of cockles. Lots of little cockle shells on the beach. We've been seeing a lot of those lately. There's a big slipper shell. So we can get it in focus here. The slipper. Many of you have seen these now, by now, on our beach walks. But there are some new folks joining in. Why do they call that a slipper shell? Come on, focus. Why is that called a slipper? Everybody knows. You turn it over. Use your imagination there. Come on. Looks like a little slipper. Can you see that? Can you imagine that looking like a slipper? <laughs> slipper shell a piece of worm rock a little little tiny piece of worm rock here a little chunk sometimes we find some really big pieces see how this is the worm rock is actually forming on an old oyster shell that's cool I don't know if Jennifer Ann posted the video on Facebook of Roy singing with his nurse yesterday. That was so neat to see that. I shared the video of him playing his harmonica. That was awesome. Like I said, he is in such good spirits. We know that's Roy through and through. No matter what, he looks for the positive side in life. We all need to be more like him. beautiful morning starting to warm up I don't know exactly what the temperature is here it's still relatively still not a big breeze my gosh look at the size of this apple murex what's left of this apple murex shell Look at the size of that thing. Holy cow. I wish that was intact. That would be an incredible find. Look at the size of that Apple Murex. Wow. That's the biggest Murex shell I have seen on this beach since I've been doing my beach walks. They get much larger, but on this beach, that is huge. And right next to it is another one. And another one. Three different sizes, all Apple Murexes, what's left of Apple Murex shells. But look at the size of that one. Absolutely amazing Scott and Linda would that not have been an incredible shell to find and it's so weird that there's three right next to each other right here huh. crazy and there it's a little tiny Florida fighting conch shell a little baby a little baby Florida fighting conch Lots of neat little things if you just take the time to stop and look. Maybe do a little shuffling around here. Lots of beautiful little shells.
little olive shell here. That's an olive shell, an auger shell, another little fighting conch. The fighting conch on the right, the auger and the olive on the left. Three cool little shells. So I think you gotta take your time when you're shelling. You might get a big surprise. Anything else? I want to get up into the sunlight. Lots of slippers. And there's a piece of a banded tulip shell. Just the side of a banded tulip. Not much left of that. There's a turkey wing shell. Those are always fun to have a couple of these in your collection. You can find some pretty big ones once in a while, the turkey wing. What's this over here? Piece of a little nutmeg shell. I can't cut it, it's live. Huh? <laughs> I can't cut it, it's live. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> so later then. Yeah. But Roy's in better spirits and everything. Is he? So, yeah. I he's, was gonna ask about that. Yeah, he's um he's got flesh eating bacteria. That's what I heard. Yeah, what? I came by and told everybody last night. So he had he had an open sword and went in the water? Oh no. I love Roy too, man. I don't want any bad to happen to him. Oh no, nobody he's does. He's so cool. Nobody does. He is so cool. There's First time I met him, he played harmonica. Right First time I met him, man, he played harmonica for me. I was like dancing. <laughs> like he's so he played cool. his harmonica in the hospital for everybody last Did night. Did he? Yep. <laughs> he's fine then. That's yep. good. That's good. It's the, the prognosis gets better every day. So he was in, I was there with him yesterday when I made him read, you know, everything about what he has out loud to me and sat there with him. And he was pretty, you know, he could have, he might have wound up losing his leg. I mean, that's how bad it is. Oh, really? By the end of last night, they said it seems like, I mean, they're just pumped them full of antibiotics. They said it seems to be taking effect. So, so. maybe the worst thing is they might have to go in and do some digging, you know, and get the, the dead flesh and whatever out. But that's way better than losing a leg. Absolutely. Right? So, so, um, this is the best day we've had. You know what I'm yes. saying? It's beautiful. We had a manatee. Oh, it's got pictures yeah, of. The I didn't. Uh, yeah, yeah, got a dolphin this morning. Um, saw pelicans flying around. Got got manatee right real close. I mean, real close oh, to the shore. Oh wow! So I got pictures of it, but that oh, was wow. You know, really neat. And and it's like the air quality. The fish are gone. Yeah. You know, there's. I mean, you, did, you guys did a great job cleaning up the beach. Man, that was rough. <laughs> <laughs> that was a tough job. That was tough, tough. There was a lot of them, but we had some volunteers come in and help. And, oh, did we get good? Yeah, good. Yeah. I've been I've been begging for them on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> just uh, just yesterday, the three three of them picked up 110 gallons of dead fish. fish. Oh my God! So five gallon life. bucket, yeah, right. One hundred and ten gallons of dead, of fish. dead fish, and buried them. And, you know, oh, we buried them. Yeah. So, you know, this this time we got on them, and I mean they just kept coming in. Oh yeah, you, you know, couldn't but we keep got up on with them, them and they kept coming in. Yep. We got on them, they kept coming yeah, in. And it was so like finally, a now they're gone. Battle. No, it is gorgeous out here today. It's beautiful, man. This is we're back to paradise. You know, still got the red tide warning, but right. I mean, yeah, it's but still it's there, but I mean, I mean. It's out there, so but it's where out. is it? It's yeah, it's way, way out. So if you remember before this episode now. happened, it was to the north of us. Oh yeah. And then all that wind came from the northwest and blew it all the way down to Marco Island. Yep. And so now it changed direction from the south and kind of coming from the east, pushing yep. back out. But now it's blown it right back up where it started. Oh, uh, so bad. Oh long. yeah, up in Fort Myers and there, those poor people, Sanibel, terrible. I feel bad for them. Yeah. But it's gorgeous out here. That's funny. Is. Everybody can't believe it. <laughs> they, everybody's so negative. Oh, our beaches are done. We can never go to our beach again. It's like, no, look at it. Yeah, it's absolutely It's fantastic. coming back, folks. All over again. So hopefully that stuff is done. Well, are you going to be up at the gate? Um, 
No, I'm out here playing oh, around. All right. You know, doing the good range of stuff. Doing the good, the fun Taking stuff. Taking care of turtles yeah. and stuff. All right. Well, you guys have a good one. You it's too. good seeing you. Yep. Two of our great park rangers. As you heard, and as you can see, our beach is getting back to normal. That red tide is offshore. What a wonderful, what wonderful news, huh, everybody? Wonderful news. And we were just doing some shelling. And you heard me talking about Roy. I hope you could hear our conversation. We didn't want to shove the camera in the ranger's face. He wouldn't mind, but I'm sure you could hear our conversations about Roy and the red tide. And things are looking better all around. Things are looking a little better for Roy. Our beach is looking better. It's all about thinking positive. That's one of Roy's, one of Roy's messages to us was be positive. Always think positive. Don't waste energy on negative thoughts. Be positive. And look, it looks like it's paying off. Our beach is getting back to normal. Yeah, piece of coral. Big piece of coral. I'm sure you could hear by the tone of the ranger's voice how happy they are about the condition of our beach today. Now there's a piece of a turkey wing, half a turkey wing shell. We've been seeing lots of little slipper shells on the beach. Lots of slippers. Another slipper shell. The old slipper shells. I haven't seen any whelks or moon shells yet. Found three really interesting broken Aplomurex shells all in a little group together on the beach. And one of them was gigantic. One was huge. You've been seeing a lot of little baby conks. There's a part of a baby crown conk. One of my favorite shells, the crown conch. Come on, focus. It's a piece of a crown conch. Those are such beautiful shells, the crown conchs. There's a little fighting conch, a little baby fighting conch. Right there. A crown, a piece of a crown conch and a little baby fighting conch. Just finding pieces of all my favorite shells. There's a piece of a tulip shell. Mother Nature is spectacular. She makes some really beautiful things. Just gotta learn how to stop and enjoy them. Don't take everything for granted. You never know. What day might be your last? So be sure to enjoy every day of your life. Coming out here on the beach in the morning. Such a gift. Look at that piece of a beautiful scallop shell. Another little auger shell. Any worm tips over here? There's a little worm tip. Just a little worm tip there, a wormy tip. Piece of finger coral. Wow. Piece of a huge 
huge whelk, not huge, but a very large piece of an old lightning whelk. That would have been a great specimen there, great find. It's a piece of an old lightning whelk. There are so many shells here along the beach. I'm up in area four right now. Whoever wants to come out here and spend some time, it's a beautiful morning. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. There's a little piece of a little tulip shell. Look at that, another piece of a tulip shell. Lots of broken, lots of broken shells. I know they're down here somewhere. I have the rest of my life, which I could spend the rest of my life out here doing, digging through all these shells. It's so exciting. It's like treasure hunting. You never know what you're going to find when you start digging. There, looks like a moon shell. I want you to see. Can you see the moon shell down here? Can you spot the moon shell? Who can spot the moon shell? There it is, a little shark eye. See it right there? You can see how camouflaged they are. I don't know how many of you spotted it. But that's a little moon shell, or also also called a shark eye. I mean, if you're just cruising along, glancing down every once in a while, you're not gonna find anything. You're only gonna find the big shells. That's when you stop and start looking. So when you find the gems, another piece of a tulip. Boy. I'm telling you folks, if it's not bad out here this morning. You know, they are saying there's red tide, but it's offshore. We just heard that from the rangers. It's definitely moved offshore. Look at our water. Look at how it's cleared up. Look at the colors. Absolutely, we're getting back to our beautiful light green. Look at that. There's actually people out on the beach. There was a manatee, the rangers said there was a manatee out here earlier today, came right up close to the beach. Our dolphin. There's people starting to show up going swimming. Absolutely beautiful, a beautiful Sunday morning. And the beach is covered with shells up here in Area 4. Area 4 is where our friend Roy hangs out. And of course, we won't be seeing him for a while. We'll see him on Facebook. And whenever he's up to it, I'm going to do a live feed with him at the hospital. Just let every, I just want him to see... All the people that love him, he gets a big thrill out of seeing all those hearts going across the screen during the live feed. So I'm going to try to get down there and do that with him. That's a piece of an old scallop there. Just a little, oh, about three quarters of a scallop, big scallop shell. I showed you some baby fighting conks. There's a fighting conch shell here, an adult fighting conch, Florida fighting conch. Rinse the sand off it. Beautiful shells, the Florida fighting conchs.
you know, I didn't go out on the little point down here to the south. It's kind of, it's still the tide's going out. So these little sandbars aren't quite fully exposed yet out here. That's where a lot of shells are going to start washing up. But it is absolutely beautiful out here, finally. It seemed like that red tide was never going to go away. It's still to the north of us, that's for sure. The poor folks up in Lee County. Sadly, the wind is kind of pushing it to the north, the red tide. Those poor folks don't need any more of this red tide. But thank you, I will take it. I will take this beautiful weather, that's for sure. You hear the, the seagulls? I like to see an occasional dead fish on the beach here. You know, it's to be expected. The rangers can't get them all. And I'm sure there's some still out there in the gulf floating around. But all in all, this beach has turned around tremendously since last Thursday. Look at it. What? A difference. Let's see, what is this shell? Is this a cockle shell over here? Let's see, what is this shell on its back over here? Is this a scallop or a cockle? That is a beige scallop shell. We have these scallops in all colors and sizes from flaming bright orange to black. This is kind of a beige cockle or cockle scallop shell right here. Another one of our turkey wing shells. They're fairly common, but I know people come and go here on the live feed, so I'll show them several times during a beach walk, the turkey wing. Wow, and what I say, every time I slow down, what happens? I find something neat. Look at over here. Look here, two, I see two moon shells down there. Can you spot the two moon shells? Now I'm giving you a much closer look than when I'm standing up walking the beach. Can you spot the two moon shells right there on the beach? Let's find the moon shell morning. <laughs> well, here's one. Here's one little shark eye right there. It's got a really dark eye on it too, the shark eye. Here's another one, upside down, see it? They're pretty hard to spot. There's two little moon shells, two little shark eyes, almost side by side. Trying to get the old camera to focus here. Two shark eyes, side by side. Isn't that cool? Just because I stopped and looked, paid a little closer attention. There's another. Well, there's. It's all. It's not all about the big stuff. Look, there's a little baby turkey wing. 
a little tiny baby turkey wing shell. I don't know, the camera's are having a hard time focusing this morning. But that is a little tiny baby turkey wing. Look at that. That's in good shape too. Nice little shell. What else did I see down here next to that turkey wing? Where did it go? I was actually going to pick something else up when I spotted that turkey wing. I'm gonna show you. It's a little tiny. There's a little tiny baby fighting conch. That is a little tiny fighting conch there. That's a little one. Pretty cool, huh? Don't get me wrong, I like finding those great big giant shells, but so does everybody else. <laughs> but a lot of people miss these little treasures. Yeah, I'm sweating up a storm now. A gorgeous morning. Nice little cockle shell down here. Nice little cockle. So nice to see people showing up at the beach. I see couple people down to the south. Let's see a lady over here doing some shelling up on the beach. It's so nice to finally start seeing people out here again. For over a week it was just me and Roy and the dead fish. As you can see, they've gotten most of the dead fish picked up. There's some piles of them here. You can see how they rake the fish up into piles and they put them in trash bags, five gallon buckets. Sometimes they bury them. Sometimes they throw them in the dumpster, a special dumpster. I heard on the radio here, some company advertising that they were grinding up the red fish and the dead fish from the red tide and turning them into fertilizer. It's kind of interesting. Ooh, what do we have down here? That's cool. There's an alphabet cone. This is an alphabet cone shell. I haven't seen one of those in a while. A little alphabet cone. Very cool. Kind of a small one. Nice little find, an alphabet cone. Great little find, actually. What else? Boy, lots of drill shells, auger shells down here. There's a couple of them right there. Another little little tiny baby fighting conch shell. That is a great little find, that alphabet cone. Like I said, we haven't, haven't seen one of those lately on the beach. Doesn't mean they're not here. It means somebody beat me to it. Alphabet cone. There is a nice little ridge of shells. It's right up by that sandbar that I like walking out on in area four. A 
right up where our buddy would be sitting. This is where Roy would be, where I'd catch up to Roy. But all those prayers everybody's sending out are definitely working, so keep them coming. There's a little tiny Murex. Little tiny lace Murex shell. Come on, focus. It's all little shells this morning that we've been collecting. See, there's a big difference in the color of the water here. Huge difference. Huge, huge, huge. Look at that. Look at the light reflecting down there. We haven't seen that for quite a while. And we've got some turns sitting down here with some seagulls. Royal Turns. Oh, look at how beautiful the water is here. Absolutely gorgeous. Boy, that sandbar out here has really changed. Really changed a lot. It's incredible how these the beach changes with each tide change. But what a beautiful picture this morning. As Roy would say, absolutely glorious. Glorious, glorious morning. There's a piece, piece of a big lightning whelk down here in the water. Big old lightning whelk. Piece of one. I just so happy to see this beautiful sky and water. I'm gonna take a photo, bear with me. I'll be right back. The birds flying by. Gorgeous out here. So we look back up the beach, look up to the north. Look out to where, isn't that beautiful? Area four, that's area four all along here to my right. Area five up to the north. Isn't that beautiful? As so we look over, you can see Barefoot Beach up there. We look that's looking north again. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful out here. Absolutely incredible. Look at that water. seen the water looking like this a couple of weeks. Sand does change colors up here out in the water because of the dredging. This is new sand here. This is all pumped out of Wiggins Pass and dumped here. It was pumped up here from Wiggins Pass. 
So the sand's a little bit of a different color here. So that's the reason why. Just looking down that sandbar. Put those birds out on the end there. Just gorgeous, isn't it? This is the Southwest Florida I love right here. Paradise, folks. Listen to all those birds. I think I'm going to go a little further up the beach. I don't know if I got the camera in the zoom mode here. Hang on one second. But we found some, a couple neat little shells, some neat little moon shells this morning. Neat little alphabet cone shell. That was kind of fun. little breeze up here a little bit of a breeze that definitely makes a big difference I'm supposed to get some heavy rain again this afternoon boy the past three two afternoons three afternoons we've been getting some downpours some incredible lightning incredible thunder and lightning there's a neat jewel box here one of those spiny jewel boxes. See the little, sometimes these spines, they look like little porcupines. They get really long. That's a neat little jewel box shell right there. Well, this is where Royce would normally be sitting. Can you feel him here with us? He's here with us. He's here with us in spirit, believe it. Believe me, believe me. He misses his beach. This, I can feel him here with me right now. I wish Roy had a smartphone. 
he could join us from the hospital. That'd be fun. And every time I see him, his first question is, oh, how's the beach? How's the beach? <laughs> There's a piece of a moon shell down there. Just a piece of one. A nautica shell. Well, the big news, lots of good news. The big news is, I think Roy's diagnosis, his prognosis is getting better. And our beach is starting to return to normal. It's not 100% yet, but oh, what a difference. What a difference. The black water is gone. Absolutely gorgeous out here. As you can see, seeing is believing. That's what I come out here for, to let you see firsthand. I know you're hearing lots and lots of bad things about Southwest Florida and our beaches, but here in Naples, things here be returning to normal key word up here. The sandbar is just starting to come into view here as the tide goes out. See where all those waves are breaking. There might even be fishermen up at Wiggins Pass this morning. That would be a welcome sight. Darn it, just a piece of a broken tulip shell. Saw lots of broken shells this morning. Lots of bits and pieces of some what were once beautiful shells. See, we've had a little more erosion up here. You see this big lip here. We've lost a little more beach up in Area 5, but it comes and goes. We have these horrendous storms offshore and these waves and get really strong, slapping up against the beach, and it's, that's what happens. It washes away, but it comes and goes. God forbid if we have a big hurricane, sometimes it dumps tons of sand on the beach or vice versa. You just never know what's going to happen here. You can't predict Mother Nature, that's for sure. She's going to do whatever she wants to do. All we can do is screw her up. <laughs> and we do a pretty good job of screwing things up. But look at all these shells right here. Look at them all. My goodness. Look at this. Look at this pile of shells. Big piece of finger coral right there. My goodness. Linda, Linda, where are you? Somebody needs to come out here and do some digging. I'm just scratching the surface here.
Wow. Hmm. Amazing. That is quite a pile of shells here. You could just easily spend an hour right here digging, digging through these shells. Wow. Looks like a beautiful little olive shell right down there, right on the top. Yep, nice little olive shell. Still has the point on it. Still has its tip. A lot of times we find them with the tips missing. Beautiful little olive shell. If you haven't gotten your copy of Roy's book, you need to do that his little book it's just full of some of the little things that we've talked about out on the beach oops just knocked the phone sorry about that some of the things we sit and have our little conversations he just put into a, a little booklet you can buy that on amazon just look for roy hazy when you're on amazon h-a-a-s-e searched by the author's name roy hazy we should be able to find his little book. And he could definitely use the money now, that's for sure. Not much beach here. I'd say over the past six months is when we lost all this beach along here. The beach used to go way out to there, way out here, way out. Now it's gone. But I hope you can see the difference in the color of the water since Thursday, since the last time I was out here. I was chatting with the rangers. Earlier this morning, you could hear our conversation. They are just ecstatic about how the tides have changed here. There was actually, they saw a manatee swimming along the beach early this morning. They saw a manatee. One of the rangers got a photo of it. I don't know if he's going to share it on Facebook. I hope he does. Saw some dolphins out there. I didn't see either one, but the rangers spotted him earlier before I got out here. So that is always a good sign when the manatees come back and the dolphins. I saw a dolphin swimming around by the Naples Pier yesterday. I did share a little video and some photos from my visit there yesterday morning. I just had to go there. I had to go to the beach in the morning and I did that before I went and saw Roy. It kind of helps me clear my mind. It's that serotonin, you know, Roy and I talk about that serotonin that's in the air at the beach. It definitely makes you a little bit happier. You can't come to the beach and not be happy. It's a natural high. <laughs> a little pocket of shells up here under the trees. Another one over here. Wow, there's the top of an old whelk shell sticking up there. This is the top side, eh? the side and top of an old lightning whelk. It was at one time a nice, big, beautiful lightning whelk, probably. Ooh, there's part of a big cockle shell. Does it have a hole in it? <gasps> hey, look at that. You know what we're going to do with this? You know where this shell is going, don't you? 
You got that right. This is going on one of the shell trees, and this is going to get hung for Roy. I'm just going to hang that up there when I get up the beach, and when I hang it, everybody can say a little prayer for Roy. This will be his shell today. This is the first time I've been out on the beach since he got since he got sick. But he is getting better, so we're not going to lose our friend Roy, believe me. He's not going home yet. He's still got work to do here at the beach. Looks like a beautiful big black scallop shell over here. Let's see what kind of condition it's in. Yeah, it's faded out. It's a black one, but it's faded out. It's gray almost white, but it was a big black scallop shell. Well, we did see some sad sights over the last few weeks. Some dead sea turtles Probably being the worst thing we've seen here on this beach. But it definitely looks like things are turning around. The water is starting to get its beautiful blue-green colors back. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. I'm just curious to see if there's any fishermen up here around the corner, up at Wiggins Pass. Look at all these pelicans. Can you see them all? Big, big flock of pelicans. Can you see them? Wow. It's so neat the way the pelicans fly in formation. Old timers refer to the pelicans here as the Naples Air Force. <laughs> the Naples Air Force. They kind of fly in formation like fighter jets. It is so cool to watch them. Look at the color of that water. Oh, what a difference, huh? Absolutely gorgeous. Before I go up any further, I'm gonna stop right here, right here by the water. And hopefully somebody will respect this. I'm gonna hang this big cockle shell that I found here, right up here overlooking the water for our friend Roy. I know he likes being, we all know how he loves the water, so I'm gonna put it close to the water here. Yeah, I guess I'll hang it on this one here. That's pretty sturdy there. Ah, I don't like that. Sorry. It's going back on this one. Yeah, nope. It's going to stay there. All right. Well, that's for Roy. That shell is for our friend Roy. Since he can't be with us at the beach for a while. So I'm just going to shut my yapper here. And if you want to say a little prayer for Roy, now would be a great time.
Amen. We miss you, Roy. Mm. Thank you for all those hearts coming across the screen. That was beautiful. There's another tree with little shells hanging on it. Other people hanging shells in memory of their loved ones that they lost. But we haven't lost Roy, and we're not going to lose him. <laughs> but he needs our prayers. Look at the water out here. Do you remember what this looked like Thursday when I was out here? That's me down there. <laughs> Look at the water. Look at the difference in the color of this water. I will repost this video. This video will be reposted at the end of the live feed on Facebook. And I will also upload it to YouTube in a little better quality than what it's going to be saved on Facebook as. You know, I don't know, maybe 20, 30 minutes into the beach walk. I have no idea how long it was. I was talking to the Rangers. I didn't have the camera pointed at them, but you will hear our conversation. We were talking about Roy. But we were talking about the beach also, and you could tell by the tone in the park ranger's voice how happy and excited they were about how our red tide conditions have taken them pretty much a 180. It's still out there in the Gulf. They're still keeping warnings up, but as you can see with your own eyes, Look at the water. Now this is in Naples, mind you. This is North Naples, Florida. Just a little bit to the north of us. Up in Lee County, they're still having some terrible problems. And they're not only dealing with red tide, they're dealing with that toxic blue-green algae, that sludge that's being pumped out of Lake Okeechobee. We are very fortunate down here not to have to deal with that blue-green algae. Red tide is enough. It's amazing what just a few miles make. What a difference it makes. Let me see if you can barely see my screen here. But if you look closely, you can see it is so clear this morning. You can see Fort Myers Beach from here. You can look all the way up and see Fort Myers Beach. <clears throat> Amazing, an absolutely beautiful day. I mean, just again, look at the color of that water. Absolutely gorgeous. I cannot see the screen. Hang on, I'm sorry. What did I do? can't see the screen I hit some stupid button over here it's so bright <laughs> you're gonna have to look at me till I get in the shade <laughs> sorry uh, I messed up hair see if I can come over here into the shade and see this darn screen what it's doing something popped up on here I can't get it off Darn it. Some little emoji thing. <laughs> Go away. I cannot get it off the screen. All right. <laughs> oh, technology. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry you had to look at that. It's really hard to see the camera, the screen on the camera out here. There's so much glare. It's 
Sometimes I have no idea what you're seeing. I'm just hoping I'm pointing the camera in the right direction. But this is Wiggins Pass up here. This is the north end of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. This is almost the Collier County line up here. There's one dead fish on the beach. We saw maybe, I maybe saw 20 dead fish on the beach, but they're old. I don't see any floating, any dead fish floating out in the water. Again, early this morning, the rangers spotted a manatee swimming right up close to the shore. And a dolphin as well, so that's good news. They're returning. Nice breeze up here. Nice breeze at Wiggins Pass. No fishermen though. Loving, loving the colors out here this morning. How beautiful. I've seen a lot of shells up here. We did find some nice little shells earlier this morning. does make me feel good inside looking at this water. The tide is on its way out. It's still looking really nice. Wow, that current is really ripping through here. And come up here, you're gonna see that current. There's a little spot up here where you really see how fast it's moving out, how fast this tide goes. You'll understand why they don't want people swimming up there. It's pretty obvious. Although our friend Roy swam across here one time. Yeah, you know Roy. He's determined. I just See how fast that water is moving? It's going this direction, moving out into the Gulf. That is a strong current. They have really dredged this pass out. It gets deep. That's why it gets so dark, because it gets the deeper. The deeper the water, the darker. How strong that current is. Wow. There's a lot of little shells right up here around the point. Nothing's jumping out at me. This is Wiggins Pass. This is the mouth of the Coquihatchee River here. That's looking east up the Coquihatchee River. That's where our sun rises now, over in, over in this area. This is Wiggins Pass here. On the other side of Wiggins Pass, that's Lely, that's Barefoot Beach. Barefoot Beach Preserve. Beautiful beach over there. Look at the colors, They're spectacular this morning. I'm 
going to have to take a picture. So bear with me. We're going to lose our connection. Signal here for a second, our videos. Don't go anywhere, stick up, so just hang tight. Okay, that is promised. Loving it out here this morning. Thank you for joining. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Be sure to hit that share button. Really important that you share these. Let's build our community. Here's a piece of a huge, huge moon shell. Look at that. Huge. Broken, probably a nautica. I think that's a nautica, but huge, like a shark eye. That is a huge piece of the shell right there. That would have been an incredible find right there. That would have sounded like a little kid in a candy store if I found a shell intact that size. Ooh. A little kid on Christmas morning. Beautiful day to come out to the beach. A beautiful morning, folks. If you're in Naples, come take advantage of this weather. It's going to be raining later today. Still only a handful of people out here. Look at that water. Yeah, there's a little crab running around on the beach here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see him. He's gonna scurry. Little, see that little black crab down there? Yeah. Just looking at him, he's staring me down. <laughs> How absolutely beautiful out here. You know, people that lived here for a long time, you, just, you can tell, you see their comments. They're always saying, have patience, have patience. You know, it's gonna get better. The conditions are gonna improve. Well, you're right. Conditions have improved. off another quick photo so hang tight bear with me here just beautiful up here Wiggins Pass beautiful this morning Looking over the morning how are you doing it is so nice to see people once again on the beach once again I'm surprised there's not more people out here taking advantage of this weather.
This is the north end of Del Norwegian's Pass State Park in North Naples, Florida. Take a look at Thursday's video, last Thursday. Take a look at that video. Check out what color this water was when we were here. And look at it now. Absolutely incredible. Sorry, that was me taking a picture. Can't help myself. I want to get the news out. Hit that share button. Let's show off our beautiful beach here. The gloom and doom has ended, at least here in Del Norwegians for the time being. Since Roy's not here to say it, I think I'm gonna say it. It's about time, huh? It's glorious. What a glorious, glorious morning. There's a boat heading out of Wiggins Pass up there. Absolutely beautiful. Like I said earlier this morning, Roy's got something to do with this water starting to clear up. Since he can't be out here, he's taking care of this from his hospital bed for us. He's watching out for us. He's definitely with us this morning. Definitely with us in spirit, that's for sure. I wish he had a way to watch this. I wish he could join us. Just for any of you newcomers here, I can't see the screen here. There's so many reflections and there's so much glare on the screen. I can barely see the image on it, let alone see the comments. So I'm not ignoring you. But thankfully we do have some wonderful followers that answer questions. Well, make sure you introduce yourself as well when you get on here, get in the group. Make sure you say hello, introduce yourself. Let everybody know where you're watching from. These trees here, this is like the tree that I hung Roy's shell on a little earlier. We'll stop and take another look at that. These are called sea grape trees, if you don't know that. They have these big, round leaves. But they also, this is why they're called sea grapes. Yeah, they look like grapes. They're seeds. The sea grape tree, you find them along our coastline. Very, very extremely salt tolerant. People actually, there's, they can make they make wine sea grape wine these will get dark red like purple grapes they make jam sea grape jam jelly and even sea grape wine i haven't had either one of them but 
in case you're ever at the beach and you're just wondering what these are called, the sea grape tree, sea grape. And because of these berries, that's why they call them grapes, the sea grapes. That's about all I can tell you about them. <laughs> Okay, where is the shell that I hung for Roy? There it is. is it? This is the shell that we hung earlier for our good friend Roy. Nice big cockle shell. I paused for a little while, let everybody say a little prayer. I'm gonna take a picture of that real quick and I'll share that on Facebook. That's our, we hung that this morning for Roy. Sorry for that interruption, I apologize for that. We're back. But do keep Roy in your prayers and your thoughts and prayers, please. It's definitely helping, definitely working. I know a lot of you were praying about the condition of our water here, praying for it to get better. And look at that. Your prayers are being answered. We've had several hatchings, sea turtle hatchings. And the rangers told me that actually the little sea turtles are less likely to be affected by red tide than the adult sea turtles. That was amazing. That was good to hear. Happy to hear that all these little emerging sea turtles are one less thing they have to deal with in their struggle to survive. But look at this water. I just can't get over it here. The color is just beautiful. I know, I said it a thousand times this morning, I'm going to say it another thousand times. actually seeing little fish jumping out in the water. Here's something we haven't seen for a while. There's a little snowy egret up here looking for the little fish, looking for a little breakfast. We haven't seen them in a while out here. Another great sign that life is returning to the beach. How beautiful. Whoop, he saw something. Lots of little fish swimming offshore here. You can see a, a huge difference in the time that I, since I walked up to the end and walked back. There's hardly any sand here earlier. Now as the tide goes out, we get a little bit of beach to walk on here, not much.
you can see the beach is really eroded up here. And you can see the tree trunks, the old tree stumps here falling down. You can see how high the beach used to be. That's pretty much like six feet almost of erosion. Crazy, huh? Mother Nature and her fury. What an absolutely beautiful beach walk this morning. We're not, we're not totally back to 100% here yet. The red tide's still lurking out there in the Gulf and definitely still up to the north of us up in the Fort Myers, the Sanibel area. Fort Myers Beach. There's some businesses that have been devastated by this red tide outbreak and up there the blue-green algae. We're so fortunate here that things are starting to clear up. It's absolutely beautiful. Even, we even found some really neat shells this morning. There's a lot of shells on the beach. There's a big, big cluster of them here. Pretty close to where Roy would be sitting. Up in area four. Roy's beach. Definitely feel Roy sitting here in his chair watching me. <laughs> watching the submarine races. This is where he's usually, this is where I'll come up and chat with him when he's out here. Incredibly beautiful out here this morning. I'm gonna step out onto this little sandbar and give you a look all the way around. Look at that water. that not gorgeous can actually see the bottom here. <laughs> what, what a gorgeous sight. Good news. Not 
that's where we were up at Wiggins Pass a little earlier. Gorgeous out here, folks. Absolutely gorgeous. Oof. Big wave. Big wave just got me. They're just breaking on this little sandbar out here that I'm standing on. Calming, so soothing, just standing here listening to the waves. There's part of another big, you know what? We found several of these earlier this morning. Here's another broken apple murex shell, piece of an apple murex. What would have been a huge, huge apple murex. That would have been a beautiful specimen there. We found one even larger than that this morning, almost in the same condition. Darn, I would love to find a murex that size. That's what's left of an apple murex. Wow, so cool. I think we're gonna be doing some, having some great shelling coming up here in the next few weeks. They're like all up in the air. Yeah, like, yeah, and there was this one back here. I don't know, I don't know what they are. I don't think so, but I wouldn't be playing with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, I don't know what they are. I don't know if you know if the beach was covered with dead fish. I, I don't know. know if it's some kind of like a maggot or something. Right. In the fish. That's I what I'm, I thought of. That's a maggot. Yeah, but it doesn't look like a regular maggot. You know, it's because they're clear on. Yeah. 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 I don't know what they are, but. Yeah, there were thousands of them. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. Thank you. Yeah, we do have these little worms in one spot of the beach where the dead fish were really bad. And I'm assuming they're just going to drown. They're just going to drown. I keep forgetting to ask the rangers what they are. But again, the good news is, look at the conditions are improving tremendously here. Just use your eyes, your own two eyes, 
You be the judge. Good morning. How are you doing? Hi, oh. I'm my friend Dick and Carol from Michigan. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> How are you doing? An open house today. Isn't it beautiful today? Oh Isn't it gosh. compared to what it's been? The water is clear. It's... I just uh, watched some uh, sea turtles hatch down there. No way. Yeah. Where? And we helped them um, out the water. Right here at Wiggins? Yeah. Unbelievable. It was awesome. Unbelievable. I it. <laughs> oh, put it on Facebook so I can find it and I share will. it. Okay. All right. That'll Bye. be awesome. Can you believe that? Here I am up at the north end of the beach and we had a hatching this morning in the daylight. Ha! Huh. It's all about timing. And I didn't have it this morning. That is absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. The odds of catching that are so slim, but what lucky people to get to see that, get to witness that hatching. So nice to see all the birds out here. The birds and the beautiful Beautiful water. Listen to them all out there calling out. Right here, the water is a little dirty here. You can see there's some algae on the bottom. It's partially because right in this area, it's like a little lagoon. So, you know, it, it never totally dries out. So, I, so this little brown stuff starts growing down there. I don't know what it is. But that's was here way before the red tide. Look at all those birds, listen to them. See if I can zoom in on them a little bit for you. You can see that. The screen is not working here when I tap on it. some of the beautiful sounds of the beach. So nice to see people once again showing up at the beach. Absolutely gorgeous out here. I've got to take a picture of this. Don't go anywhere. beautiful water, the beautiful sky, the beautiful birds. Stay, hang tight. I'll be right back. These are royal turns right here in front of us. Royal turns. The ones that are making all the noise. Males chasing females around, I believe. Maybe it's the females chasing the males. What a beautiful sight, though. Oh, 
my battery's getting low here. I want to thank everybody for joining me this morning. Absolutely beautiful Sunday morning, a beautiful beach walk. Absolutely gorgeous. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Please keep our friend Roy in your prayers. The more prayers, the better. camera the gimbal's getting a little weak in the battery and starts to lose its balance there beautiful well thanks for watching have a wonderful sunday wherever you might be for southwest florida television i'm rob sand god bless